Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Peace and blessings of Allah Almighty, God, our Lord, our Creator, be with you, with myself, and with our entire community. Welcome, brothers and sisters. This is Ihsan, and we have just observed the Thanksgiving holiday here in the United States. Now, whatever the origins of the Thanksgiving holiday are is a different issue, but I've always enjoyed this holiday simply because it is a time in which we are encouraged to stop, to gather together with family, and to be grateful, to give thanks. Now, if you've been following my work, you know that I emphasize this quite often, right? That gratitude is fundamental to faith. In fact, throughout the entire Quran, when Allah Almighty, God, the Creator, mentions unbelief, which is faithlessness, disbelief, He always equates it with ingratitude. Gratitude is equivalent to faith. Faith produces gratitude and gratitude strengthens faith. Whereas ingratitude destroys faith. It robs us of faith. It diminishes our faith. And ultimately, faithlessness, the lack of faith, unbelief, is from ingratitude. When we think of all of the ni'mah, all of the favors, all of the blessings, all of the divine gifts that our Creator has given us, how can we not be grateful except that we're not aware, that we do not see the gifts of Allah, that we're too unconscious to be grateful for the endless ni'mah, the endless favors that is continually being bestowed and dressed upon us and around us. And so gratitude brings us into presence. It brings us into the here and now, and thus it serves as a connection, as a bridge between us and our Creator. Gratitude helps to connect us with Allah. In many ways, gratitude brings us as part of the state of Ihsan, which the Prophet ﷺ described as the goal of Islam to reach this state of perpetual presence, this state of connection, this state of mindfulness, this state of awareness, this state of spiritual excellence in which we are perpetually aware of the imminent divine presence of God. Now, the principle of gratitude has gained a lot of popularity in the last couple of decades along with the idea of the law of attraction. I'm certain you've heard of this concept, the law of attraction. What does that mean? Very simply, right? This can also be equated to the law of vibration, the law of energy. Sometimes it's referred to as the law of love, that whatever state we are in, we will attract to ourselves events, circumstances, results that are consistent with that state. So in other words, if we're in a positive psycho-spiritual state, in a positive emotional state, we will attract to ourselves positive events and circumstances. And so the proponents of the law of attraction have often emphasized that gratitude is essential to attracting to yourself positive circumstances, positive results, better things. What is remarkable is that Allah Almighty, Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, the Creator, God, the Creator of heavens and earth, the one who has revealed himself to humanity throughout history through his prophets and messengers, revealed in the Holy Quran over 1400 years ago through the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, a beautiful verse, a beautiful ayah in which he says, subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, when you are grateful, I will increase you. Remember that your Lord has proclaimed, when you are grateful, Allah will increase you. He will give you more. So this idea of gratitude is nothing new. This idea of being in a state of gratitude, in an attitude of gratitude, of consciously practicing gratitude so as to improve your circumstances, was an idea that the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, by the will of Allah shared with humanity over 1400 years ago. What most people don't understand is that the law of attraction is a simple physical law. It's a universal law. Like any other law, it's always in operation and it serves a divine purpose. Because all of life, all of creation, the entire universe is seeking to teach us about ourselves, to teach us what we are choosing. Because remember, the only real power we have is choice. This entire life is an opportunity to exercise choice. And ultimately, we have one of two choices, paradise or hell, heaven or hell, faith or unbelief, right? Belief or unbelief. And so also gratitude or ingratitude. Now, I know sometimes life can be challenging. Life can be difficult. We all have struggles, sometimes profound struggles. But even then, there is always something to be grateful for. And if you have nothing else to be grateful for, we can always be grateful simply for the opportunity to breathe to be grateful for this breath. And this really is at the foundation of faith. It truly brings us into presence, into the here and now, liberates and frees us from past and future and connects us with the presence of the Almighty. So again, this law of attraction, this idea is nothing new. It was taught to us through our Prophet Muhammad taught to humanity over 1400 years ago. 
And all of Islam is to learn how to choose. And so I created a course called Mastering the Law of Attraction to help explain and share these principles because again, they serve a divine purpose. The point of this knowledge even now being broadcast into public consciousness, into global consciousness, is so that we can learn to make better choices, that we can take control of our state, our thoughts, our beliefs, our hearts, and thus learn to choose peace, to choose gratitude, to choose joy, to choose surrender. And as we do so, we enter into what is known as the state of Islam. Remember that Islam means peace, achieved through surrender. That is the literal meaning of Islam. And a Muslim is one who surrenders and thus moves towards peace, cultivates peace inwardly and thus outwardly. And as we enter into the state of Islam, as we cultivate the state of Islam, right? This is different from simply identifying with Islam, which is the problem. We have too many people identifying as Muslims, but very few who actually have awakened and cultivated within themselves the state of Islam, which again is a state of harmony, connectedness, oneness with what is, oneness with the will of Allah, as it manifests in every moment, in this moment, in the present moment. Gratitude, presence, Islam brings us into presence. It connects us with the divine presence. And that then results in blessings in our lives. Because as we are connected to the Creator, as we are connected to the divine presence of Allah, we are connected to goodness, right? God is the source of all goodness. And as we remain connected, right, this is why the Prophet ﷺ, peace be upon him, advocated perpetual remembrance, perpetual dhikr, because it keeps us in a state of connection with the Creator. And as we're connected to God, we're connected to goodness. And goodness then flows into our lives. It flows through us and around us. To truly take advantage, to truly understand the laws of the universe, the law of attraction, these laws which have been put in place by Allah for our benefit so that we can learn about ourselves, learn about what we are choosing, and God willing, make better choices while we still have the opportunity to do so. Allah is merciful. He has given us thousands of days, typically. We have been given thousands of days, thousands of opportunities to improve our choices before we make the final choice between faith and faithlessness, between belief and unbelief, between light and dark, between positive and negative, between truth and falsehood. And so I've created an entire course called Mastering the Law of Attraction. Really, all this is is a course to bring us into help bring you into the state of Islam a state of peace, a state of harmony, a state of connectedness through which you attract by Allah's will. He's created these laws for a purpose through which you attract by Allah's will increasingly positive circumstances into your life. Remember that when Allah Almighty created humanity, He placed us in the garden. Allah's will for humanity was peace. It was prosperity. But we took on the burden of choice, right? We took on the amana, which is known in Arabic. The amana in Arabic meaning the trust the power that Allah has imbued humanity with, which is the power of choice. And by the subtle choices that we make between light and dark, between positive and negative, between good and evil, between gratitude and ingratitude, between connection and disconnection, between unity and love and separation and chaos, these choices that we make constantly throughout the day, every single day, either move us towards paradise or further and further away from paradise towards hell. And so this course has been designed and created to help you strengthen your spirituality connect with your Creator, and increasingly attract positive circumstances and results into your life in this world and in the next. And I'm currently offering a promotional discount on this course for the next few days. So I'll include a link below this video for you to check that out. You can act now and get lifetime access to mastering the law of attraction at a significantly reduced rate. And remember, brothers and sisters, our job, our role here is to cultivate positivity, to cultivate faith, because positivity comes from faith. May Allah Almighty guide you and myself to truth, to reality, to success, to peace and to prosperity both in this life and in the next. Please go ahead and subscribe if you have not yet done so. Hit the notification icon and give this video a like. And I look forward to seeing you in Mastering the Law of Attraction to your divine and eternal success. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.